Hi friends, Reverend Ben Christman here, Senior Pastor of Benton First United Methodist Church. And in this time of fear and anxiety and worry, I wanted to share some pieces of good news with you. I know that many of you have been experiencing this darkness on a personal level and on a global level as we continue to see reports of this devastating virus that is in the midst of us. But also want us to know that God is breaking through. That in this time of, of valley experiences, God is walking with us. And I wanted to share some good news with you that are signs of that kingdom building work that God is doing. Just a few weeks ago, when the government announced that there were going to be payroll protection plan loans that were going to be forgiven by the government, uh, we applied for one of those as a church to make sure that we had enough funds to cover our employees as well as our child development center employees who have been uh, not working since the governor shut down schools. And we wanted to, to honor them and make sure that we were able to fully support all of our staff. And so we have applied for one of those PPP loans and have been granted it in full. And if we use those funds to make our payroll payments and to use for utilities, then that will be completely forgiven for us. And so it is really a grant from the government and we are so excited and thankful for that opportunity. And I'm very thankful personally for the work of your clergy, of your staff and of your finance committee and trustees, because they have been working so hard in this difficult time to ensure the security uh, of our church and the financial footing that we have. And I also am so thankful for your generosity. Because it's in this time of, of difficulty and fear, your generosity has been extravagant. I have seen so many of you make such great sacrifices for your church and for its ministries. And I'm so thankful to you. And in light of that, friends, in light of those two pieces of really great news coming together, we have been able to fully and completely, and hear me when I say that, fully and completely pay off our debt. We are a debt-free church. In the midst of this incredible difficulty, we are free of debt because of what God has done in each and every one of you. And so friends, we, we can gather back together. We're going to have a big party, I promise. But until then, we're going to celebrate together in spirit, knowing what God has done. And I'm so thankful to all of you and the hard work and the sacrifice and the gifts that you've given and the time you've put in for fundraisers over the last 10 to 15 years. Because friends, this church has been in debt since 2007, but we are debt free now. And what a blessing it is for us. And friends, I encourage you to continue those financial gifts to continue to use them for the benefit of God's kingdom because we don't know how long this is going to last. That PPP loan covers us for eight weeks and that's wonderful, but this could continue to stretch on. And we know that God has new and exciting things for us to do in ministry in three months and in six months at the end of the year. And so I encourage those gifts to continue to come, to continue to, to offer them to God as a way for us to show our sacrifice for God in the way that God has sacrificed for us and to show our love of God and our love of this church and community. And friends, know that your gifts are going to be used to make a difference in the world, to build God's kingdom, to make disciples, and to share God's love. Friends, there is good news in the midst of the darkness. Jesus Christ has risen from the grave and has given us freedom from our debt. And so we celebrate and we rejoice and we give thanks. We love you. We miss you. We cannot wait to party together soon. But let's hear this good word. We are a debt-free church. Thanks to Jesus Christ, our Lord.